the diversity is, is phenomenal. You have all kinds of people from all walks of life, you know. You have, pe you have Caucasian people, you have your Hispanic people, you have your black people, you have people of all ethnic groups, and they get along. They have their moments and everything like that, but who doesn't? Everything's, everything's convenient. Train station, um, supermarket, shopping, parks are no, no, no farther than maybe three blocks away from, three, three, four blocks away from the front road area, from the shopping area. And uh, the parks department keeps it very well maintained. And they're building more and more parks, um, park houses to keep the upkeep of the parks. If you're really worried about your kids, check out the academics of some of the schools out there. Because this Bronx has good schools, but it ain't always where you live at is the best school. You might have to venture out in order to find a great school for your child. From statistically proven, the Bronx is probably one of the most inexpensive places to, to live in in New York, as far as Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Queens go. And some of Staten Island as well. Staten Island, yeah, it's inexpensive, very beautiful, but distant wise, it's not very, how can I say this, commuter friendly. I live by two train stations, which is the four train line and the D train line, and it's very accessible to all directions you need to go to. To get into the lower Manhattan Wall Street area, about 45 minutes. To get into the Midtown area, approximately about 20, 20 minute commute. Neighborhood noise, it varies from time to time, different seasons, different times. Summertime is pretty, um, pretty multicultural as far as music goes and people um, and walking around and everything like that. Restaurants, um, it's actually building up in the Bronx. Right now, currently in Fordham Road, they just built the Applebee's, which is pretty cool. And then not too far off from where I'm at, maybe about roughly about five train station stops. They have a, a mall they just built by 152nd Street, which is called the Gateway Mall, and they have Home Depot, they have um, Target, they have um, um, Applebee's, they have everything accessible to anybody that would love to live in the Bronx. The least thing I like about my neighborhood, I would say too much nightlife in the sense of crime and, mis and, and mischief. You know, I, I, I tell this to anybody and please, be mindful of this right here. If you're moving into an area, check it at night as well as during the day. Because what you see during the day is never what you see at night, and what you see at night is never what you see during the day.